number two to me was the strengths, identifying the strengths of Alabama football. This upcoming season, you know your strength is going to be in the secondary with Minka Fitzpatrick, Ronnie Harrison, Anthony Averett back at corner, uh, Tony Brown, somebody who's played a lot of football, Hootie Jones, Lawrence Hootie Jones, that is, another person who's played quite a bit of football, Deontay Thompson, who continues to grow. You also have some young players getting thrown in the fire there, but the secondary definitely a strength. The linebacker position a strength where you have Sean Dion Hamilton, Rashawn Evans, Keith Holcomb, Christian Miller, Anthony Jennings, Terrell Hall. Now he goes by Terrell Lewis as his name changed, his last name changed there. Uh, Jamie Mosley. So the linebacker position is a strength. On the offensive side of the football, the offensive line, you've got three starters back, Brantley Bozeman, Jonah Williams, Rosh Pierce-Baker. Um, at the running back position, Bo Scarborough, Damian Harris, Josh Jacobs, Najee Harris, Brian Robinson. At wide receiver, you know what you get with Calvin Ridley, but you got other guys around him, Robert Foster, Cam Sims, Jerry Judy. So locating your strengths and being able to build on those strengths because you know those guys are going to be the ones to carry the team. Number three, uh, fine-tuning your weaknesses. Believe it or not, there are some weaknesses on this Bama team. Number one, the kicking position. Can it get a kicker? I mean, thank goodness for J.K. Scott, but just a consistent leg, kicking the football, and, and being accurate and just having that calmness to do your job. I know at times of kicking, you get worried, you get frustrated. You know, this is my one job, and I got to do it right. But having that calmness to go up there, Believe in yourself, trust your instincts, trust the coaching, trust the teammates around you, and just go up there you know, and make the kick. And also on that defensive front, and not just the starters, the, those rotation guys, having the trust in those guys and those guys to show that you know, they deserve that trust by coming in and, uh, and playing good football. So fine-tuning those weaknesses. And then last but not least, Mark, avoiding the – the injuries, the season-ending injuries or the injuries that have your guys out for a, 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 a lengthy period of time. You're going to have the bumps and the bruises, but not the torn ACLs, not the ruptured knees, not the you know torn Achilles, not the separated shoulders, those things that you know force you to be out for a longer period of time. And now on the fly, you have to coach up somebody else to get them knowing not just the chemistry, but also the technique and, and the nuts and the bolts of your system. So the identity the identity of the team, uh, number two, building on the strengths, number three, fine-tuning the weaknesses, and number four, just by all that means necessary, avoiding the season-ending injuries. Folks, are you listening to this? This is the best in Alabama football analysis. Stephen M. Smith joins me each and every Wednesday. You can join him on his new show, The Way It Is. That's a Monday through Friday, 2 to 6 Central Time on Fox 97.9 out of Muscle Shoals and Florence, Alabama. And his mainstay is Touchdown Alabama as well. Follow him on Twitter. Uh, you got to like him, Mark Rogers TV on Facebook, right? You, like I say sometimes on Twitter, uh, Stephen, you don't got to love me, but you do got to like me and like me on Facebook and also uh, follow us on Twitter as well. And uh, the best in college football coverage, coast to coast, we try to catch just about everybody uh, on Mark Rogers TV. So please subscribe there. Stephen, uh, I appreciate the rundown. It was exceptional. It's got a lot uh, of meat there for us to, to chew on as we go forward uh, tomorrow as the boys hit the sleds and uh, get after it one more time. They'll get after it. They'll be in the shorts, the helmets, and the jerseys tomorrow. As we all understand, the NCAA and the safety precautions, you don't want to have your guys in full pads week one. Kind of want to get them to mentally process being back on the field, uh, Getting reprogrammed, reprogrammed, excuse me, into the system. So by week two, week three, you'll see the pads come back on. And I, I, I'm excited about it. It's not just fall camp on Saturday. You've got Alabama football fan day, which 
is one of two free events to the public. So the fans can bring their children, their grandchildren, the wives, the husbands. They come out, they sit down, and they get to see for themselves in an open practice. You know, they get to be Nick Saban for a day. You don't get that chance often. These fans, for one day, they get to put on their straw hat inside the stadium, and they get to be Nick Saban and look at who's doing this, who's doing that, you know, and why are they doing it and the purpose for why they're doing it. And then also at the end of uh, the open practice, which, which ends at 430, all the fans get to come out on the field and they get to take pictures with the players and have the players sign autographs and Coach Saban will have an autograph session and – uh, the university is giving away 300 autograph posters. The university is giving away free 300 autograph posters. So if you got some youngsters that want to enjoy this moment, they can go out, you know, watch an Alabama practice, get their pictures made with Jane and Hurts or whoever you like on the team, get their picture made with Nick Saban and get a free autographed poster. All right. That's going to get the uh, the folks fired up when they can get out there and, and get a little swag in addition to the experience of uh, getting close to the, the, the coaches and players there at Alabama football practice. All right, Stephen M. Smith, Touchdown Alabama. The best. We appreciate it. Enjoy this every week, uh, getting to talk Alabama football with you. Absolutely. Mark, enjoy you guys. Mark Rogers TV. This this is family, man. This is coast to coast. And I love, I like, but more so a great respect for what you do.